Thank you, Sambal Su. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Kachang Kevin, and this is the Daily Nugget Show. Mother Teresa was the latest person to be declared a saint by Pope Francis. But on the show today, we're asking you, who was the first person or persons canonized by Pope Francis? Was it A. Antonio Primaldo and 812 Companions, B. Laura Montoya Upegui, C. Maria Guadalupe Garcia Zavala or D. All of the above? The answer coming up after our Bible reflection for today taken from Romans 8 verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? We pray to and ask for help from saints because they are alive. We pray to Jesus and the saints. The communion of saints is not an either-or issue. It is a family affair. Now, earlier I asked who was the first person or persons canonized by Pope Francis. Was it A. Antonio Primaldo and 812 Companions, B. Laura Montoya Upegui, C. Maria Guadalupe Garcia Zavala or D. All of the above? The answer is D. All of them. On May 12, 2013, Pope Francis, in his first canonization ceremony, declared hundreds of 15th century martyrs who were beheaded for refusing to convert to Islam as saints. Antonio Primaldo and 812 companions were called the Martyrs of Otranto who was slain in the southern Italian city in 1480 for defying demands by Turkish invaders to renounce Christianity. The Pope also gave Colombia its first saint, a nun, Laura Montoya Upegui, who journeyed with five other women by horseback in 1914 into the forests to be a teacher and spiritual guide to indigenous people. And the Holy Father also canonized another Latin American woman, Maria Guadalupe Garcia Zavala, a Mexican who dedicated herself to nursing the sick, helped Catholics avoid persecution during a government crackdown on the faith in the 1920s. For more videos about the saints, visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash redeemed for worship. Let's end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, Today we rejoice in the holy men and women of every time and place. May their prayers bring us your forgiveness and love. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm Kachang Kevin. Subscribe to the Daily Nugget Show at redeemedforworship.com. Also connect with us on Facebook. This Daily Nugget Show is brought to you by Redeemed for Worship. Redeemed for Worship using Powtoon.